Hello friends, it's Dr. Rice back with another COVID video. And today we're gonna to be talking all about the differences between the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines. These vaccines are very similar, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time discussing the similarities and spend most of our time talking about their differences. The three main similarities between the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines that I'm sure you're all very familiar with by now is that they both require two shots they both have similar efficacy rates of 95 and 94% respectively, and they provide immunity using the same mechanism. That is, they're both mRNA vaccines. If you'd like to know more information about what exactly an mRNA vaccine is and how it works, I'll put a link to that video here in the top corner, as well as down in the description. Another important similarity is that recent studies have now shown that both the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines have similar efficacy rates in providing protection against three of the major known variants. These are the New York City variant, the South African variant, and the UK variant. New studies are being continuously performed on these variants every single day, so stay tuned for future content. Now, on to the differences. The two major differences that are always brought up concerning the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines are storage as well as the length of time between the second dose administration. Pfizer must be stored in significantly colder temperatures than Moderna, and this usually ranges from about negative 112 to negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. The Moderna vaccine can be stored in regular refrigerator temperatures, and this is around 36 degrees Fahrenheit. The second dose of the Pfizer vaccine is administered about 21 days after the first dose, whereas with the Moderna vaccine, it's administered administered about 28 days later after the first dose. However, the CDC did release a statement a while back stating that anyone who received the first dose of either the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccines are eligible for the second dose within six weeks of the first dose. So in both instances, you have a six week time frame to get that second shot. Now let's talk about some lesser known differences between these two vaccines because that's what this video is really all about. First, we'll start with efficacy rates. As we talked about before, the overall efficacy rates for the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines are about 95% and 94% respectively. Now, according to each of their clinical trials, the 95% efficacy rate for the Pfizer vaccine will kick in about seven days after the administration of the second dose. And for the Moderna vaccine, it doesn't kick in till about 14 days after the administration of the second dose. In other words, for the Pfizer vaccine, you become fully immune about seven days after the administration of the second dose. And for the Moderna vaccine, it takes about a full 14 days after you receive the second dose before you become fully immune. Both vaccines have a 100% efficacy rate in preventing death from COVID-19, and Pfizer has a 100% efficacy rate in preventing COVID-related hospitalizations, and Moderna is about 90%. According to various studies and other sources, there's been speculation as to how well the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines do in preventing asymptomatic COVID-19 cases, meaning that you have COVID-19, but it doesn't actually cause any noticeable symptoms. Pfizer is speculated to have about 90% efficacy, whereas Moderna is speculated to have about 66% efficacy. Again, this is for preventing COVID-19 in the asymptomatic individual. However, this data is less concrete than the data found within their respective clinical trials. Now let's talk a little bit about administration of the vaccine. Pfizer's vaccine has only about 30 micrograms of the actual vaccine content going into your body, whereas the Moderna vaccine has about 100 micrograms, over three times the amount of the Pfizer vaccine. However, the Pfizer vaccine has to be diluted with saline before it is injected, and so it would appear that the Pfizer vaccine's content is about the same as Moderna's, but in reality, it's only 30 micrograms versus Moderna's 100 micrograms. And lastly, we'll talk about the target population for these two vaccines. Both vaccines are currently undergoing trials to assess the clinical efficacy and safety of these vaccines 
in younger individuals. For now, Pfizer is approved for individuals aged 16 and older, whereas Moderna is approved for individuals aged 18 or older. Also, if you have questions about which vaccine you should get, I went into more depth on this topic in another video. So I'll put a link to that video here in the top corner, as well as in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button, hit subscribe, as well as write a comment down below on which COVID topic you'd like me to cover next. As always, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video, and I will see you all on the next one.